Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Let's Edit with Avid Media Composer tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to wrap up our discussion of the audio mixer by talking about an important concept that you're going to need to understand before you start making audio adjustments in your timeline, and that is how to gang clips together. Now, ganging clips inside of Media Composer is the equivalent of grouping them together so that when you make an adjustment to one of the faders, that's going to trickle down to any number of faders that you may have selected inside of the audio mixer. This is going to save you a ton of time and headaches trying to figure out what type of adjustment you have to make to multiple tracks if you need to make the adjustment, let's say of, you know, 3 dB down, using the gang feature is going to let you make that adjustment across multiple tracks quickly and easily with as little headaches as possible. Now, as always, before we get rolling, I want to give a big shout out to Video Guys, our sponsor. Don't forget, if you're looking for Media Composer subscription licenses, head on down to the show notes below for the links. You can head on over to Video Guys website, get that coupon code of MC101 to get 5% off your subscription license. And as always, I want to remind you that if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one Media Composer training, you can always send me an email at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. All of the lessons are recorded for you to save for your future reference. And I always give discounts if you want to get in and do multiple lessons to get you up to speed on whatever project you happen to be working on. And last but certainly not least, I want to remind you that if you find this tutorial useful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it across social media to help us get the word out there about Media Composer to all those editors in Premiere or in Resolve who maybe need to jump into Media Composer and get a project done, or maybe you've just been away from Media Composer for a while and you just want to freshen up on, on some great tips and tricks. Hopefully everybody can get something, whether it's a lot or even just that one little tidbit out of every lesson that we put up on the YouTube channel. All right, so as you can see, we are inside Avid Media Composer. We're pretty much going to pick up where we left off in the last lesson. We're going to call up our audio mixer. Of course, for me, I do have it mapped as a shortcut, which I did recommend in the previous lesson. So I can simply hit F3 on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. If you don't have it mapped to your keyboard, you can always navigate up to Tools, simply navigate down to Audio Mixer, and you'll call it up, and you will be all set to go. Now, I did mention in the introduction, I wanted to talk about a concept called ganging in this lesson. Now, ganging is the ability to physically attach faders to each other so that when you make an adjustment to one of them, it will make a uniform adjustment across all of the selected faders, much like they're actually, you know, taped together on the actual audio console. When you grab one, even if their levels are different, it will uniformly drop that audio, however many dB, and adjust each track accordingly. So let me give you a perfect example of how this is going to work right here. All right. So as you can see with tracks one and two, we have a little bit of a volume difference of three dB. A1 is three dB higher than A2. And, you know, the director has come in, the director said, you know, everything is a little bit too hot. What we want to do is to take all of our on-camera dialogue and bring it down by let's just say 6 dB as an arbitrary number, all right? Now, how you might normally do this is to grab one fader and maybe punch in, you know, minus 3, and then take the other fader, punch in minus 6, or what you do is start dragging and dragging. That's already too much work. We don't want to even get into doing that because it's way, way, way too much, and we want to be precise. So what we're going to do is instead of just grabbing or punching in values, I'm going to navigate up to the top toward the little tape spindle icon is here right here at the top of each one of the faders and I'm simply going to turn it on for both these two tracks. Now what's going to happen is that if I grab one of the faders and I make a volume adjustment you'll now see that they are adjusting relative to each other which is exactly what I wanted them to do. All right now keep in mind the one thing that you cannot do is you cannot come in, come in and punch in an absolute value. If I was to come in here let's say punch in an absolute value of five as soon as I do that you'll see that because the tracks are ganged together I've basically told Media Composer that I want their absolute value to be five which is really not how we want to do this when it comes to ganging. I mean you could do that if you wanted to but to be honest 99% of the time I'm not using ganging for that purpose. So what I'm going to do is just simply turn off ganging. I'm going to put this value back at three I'll put this value back at zero and we're pretty much right back to where we started as far as making our adjustments now this comes in really handy when you want to do things like 
let's say with these four tracks, if I come back here, I'm going to hit play and sort of stick my fingers in my ears because this is very loud. Yeah, very loud. Way too loud. All right. So obviously we want to bring all of this uniformly down. Let's just say 10 dB. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to come in, turn the gang off on both these tracks, turn the gang on on the other tracks and simply just grab them and drag them right down. Now you'll see it's a much faster way than going to each one and putting in a value an absolute value and you'll see I could just do that very quickly you know, I'm not even gonna bring it down to like minus 15 and that's at least much better what I can do is just even bring it down way more because I think that's way too loud even better okay because I can still now hear our on-camera dialogue as our talent runs away now of course as soon as we hit that edit point that volume is gonna jump right back up and you'll now see that if I was to make an adjustment once I get to this point the gang is still in play but because the volume levels have changed, it plays itself out a little bit based on the track that you're obviously adjusting. You'll see, in this case, I actually don't wanna do that. So what I might wanna do is I might wanna come in and use our little trick that we did before by marking our in and out points and by using tracks three, four, five, and six, what I would do is simply navigate up to the fast menu. I would set our clip gain on the track into out so now that adjustment is made and you'll see we're sticking within the audio mixer to do all of this work. Now with that said, it does sort of bring up a little bit of an issue. And of course, you're probably thinking, well, what's the issue? Well, obviously our dialogue is something that we might adjust all as one. Our on-camera dialogue is something we might want to adjust all as one. Same with the music, same with the effects. You might want to make incremental adjustments to the overall music tracks to the overall effects tracks maybe everything's a little bit too quiet for the dialogue so you just want to bring that up just a little bit but it gets to be a little bit of a mess when you're trying to figure out what each one of these gangs are how they play themselves out and that type of thing so this is where grouping your tracks really comes into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to turn off all the gangs for just one second. Now, you'll notice that as I go through and I click on each track here, you'll notice that they're highlighted over here, not only in the track section of the mixer, but also down here at the bottom of the, uh, the actual mixing panel itself. All right. And in here we have two separate types of sound. I have on-camera dialogue and I have sound effects. All right. Now you'll also notice that we do have the ability here in the track section that if, for example, I didn't even want to deal with, let's say, our on-camera dialogue, I could simply disable it so that I don't see it here. And I'm only dealing with those FX tracks that were super loud that we made the adjustment to. All right. But for what we're doing, I'm just going to turn it back on. So before I actually show you groups, I want to show you something else that's actually, I'm not going to say it's hidden, but to be honest, up until a little while ago, because they're constantly updating stuff in Media Composer, I didn't actually even know it was there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park over both tracks one and track two, just so that I have audio tracks underneath my time bar here. And you'll remember that I turned on my ganging, so I could come in and I could make adjustments like such. But the problem with that is, is that if I was to bring this up back up to about three, there we go, that's fine. And I was to come in and turn the gang on on the other tracks, this doesn't really help me because now I'm adjusting my, you know, on-camera dialogue and my effects together. Really what I want to do is to gang my effects together and gang my on-camera dialogue together so that I can have them separately. Well, if you'll actually navigate up to one of the gang icons and you right click on it, you'll now see that we have the ability to set different gangs to different tracks. So this is a perfect example of how you can get in and come in and say, okay, well, let's assign these tracks to gang B. So this way, when I come in and I start making adjustments to gang A, it's not actually impacting the gang that's happening with gang B. All right. Now let's take this concept a little bit further. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put everything back roughly where it was. That's kind of fine. I think these were sort of down here at about minus. You know what? Let's actually put it right back at zero. I'm just going to set their absolute value to be zero. Okay, perfect. So we kind of got everything back where we were. We're slightly off on track one, but I'm not going to worry about that. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put everything back to gang A. And then we're simply just going to turn them off. All right, off, 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 off. Perfect. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about groups and how this is going to come into play when we talk about gangs.
All right, so let's set up some basic groups for our audio. And this is actually gonna be fairly simple. What we're gonna do is set up two groups, one for our on-camera dialogue, one for our effects. So how are we gonna do this? Well, it's actually very simple. In the group section, what I'm gonna do is simply right click. Now you'll notice what's very cool is that I can actually just select tracks A1 and A2. And if I right click in here, I can say, let's create a new group from the selected tracks. Now, if I don't have any tracks selected, you'll see I could just say new group from selected tracks and it will still bring up the new group window where I can come in and select the actual tracks myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select A1 and A2, and we're simply gonna call this what this is, OCD, on-camera dialogue, all right? And what I'm gonna do is simply just say apply, and I'm gonna say okay, and you'll see OCD appears here in the group section. Now you'll notice that when I select it, not only does it appear in tracks, not only does it appear down here, but it also appears selected over here in my timeline. Now let's do the next one, which is these four tracks here. Now, I think I mentioned this in a previous lesson, and if I didn't, I'll mention it again. How I can simply select and deselect these tracks so quickly is by simply holding Shift on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows, and you can just click and slide to select whatever tracks you want to select. You don't need to select them all. You can select some and not others, but for us, A3 through A6, simply going to right click and create a new group from the selected tracks there they are and of course we know that this is simply going to be called FX and what I'm going to do is simply say apply and I'm simply going to say okay now keep in mind if I had voiceover tracks if I had music tracks if I had different effects tracks based on different scenes you can get in and create as many different groups with as many different audio tracks as you want I could have chosen you know tracks three, five, and six if I wanted to, and left track four if these all happen to be mono, we can set this up really however we want. All right, so what I'm now gonna do is I'm simply gonna come over to the effects track, and you'll see that when I select it, obviously it selects those tracks. Actually, let's select our on-camera dialogue here, because really I should have probably, you know, organized it a little bit better. Maybe I would have called it 1-OCD so that it's actually gonna appear at the top, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is with my OCD, I'm simply gonna right click on it. You'll see we have a few options in here, but for me, the option that I wanna come down and select is ganging. You'll now see that I have the ability to, instead of going through each one, I can now simply right click, say ganging, say add this to gang A, and now I can make my adjustments. I can now come to the effects and right click and say add to gang B, and now you'll see that I can get in and do whatever adjustments I need to do. If for some reason I wanted to assign them to a different gang, of course I could simply come in, right click, let's just assign this to, it doesn't even matter, to gang E, and there we go. And the beauty part about this is, is now, once I've done whatever mix that I have to do, I don't have to go through and select each one. All I have to do is, again, simply right click, say ganging, and say ungang that group. Let's go to effects, and we're gonna right click, and we're gonna ungang that group, so we can now get in and make any minor modifications that we need to make on a track by track or fader by fader basis. Okay, I think that's enough talking about the audio mixer. There are some other little bells and whistles that we'll cover as we go a little bit further in Media Composer, but I think in the next lesson, we're gonna talk about basic audio mixing. I'm gonna show you two different types of mixing in your timeline, one using editing and one using automation. This way you're gonna know whichever one works better for you based on the type of editing situation you happen to be in. All right, and as always, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Video Guys. Don't forget to use that coupon code MC101 in the links in the show notes below to get your discount on your Media Composer subscription. And as always, if you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it across social media. And if you have any questions for me, you can always send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching.